Hi there, my friends. This video is meant for people who have internet and Wi-Fi and want to save some bucks in the monthly payment they do to their internet provider. Are you among them? I bet you are, right? Well, if you're among those people who pay more and more and more every year, I got a solution for it. So listen to me. Now, I've done this, of course, for myself and also for friends and colleagues who noticed they started paying 50 and they ended up paying up to 140. Believe it or not, yes, that's how much you can charge you if you don't complain. And we all know we live in dark times. Inflation is like staggering. Everything is so expensive. So why should we pay so much money for these companies that already have the infrastructure? They do nothing. I mean, of course, they have to increase the salaries of their employees. But other than that, nothing, right? But they keep asking for more and more and more. So the greed has to be stopped. And I'm going to tell you exactly how. You only need two things, basically. One is a phone, right? Well, um, a smartphone works, right? No, seriously. And then the magic word, which is disconnect service. That's what you need to tell them. So let me explain to you. Now, when you hire a new service, they offer you the best price, but after a year, and I think it depends on what, on where do you live? Like I know people who always pay the same, but other people, depending on where, where you live, they know that that is like a more expensive area and you can pay more or they think that you can pay more and they start raising and raising and increasing without you noticing it. And there's no way to stop them. You can call them and say, hey, you know, this is too much. And they would tell you, oh, well, you know, we have offers for new clients, but you're an old client. You know the way to be a new client? Say, disconnect service. And then, when you call them again, you're a new client. So that's what I've done for many years now. Uh, every time I, real, I notice that they start increasing the payments, I call them and I say, I want to disconnect the service. Let me tell you what happens because it's very funny. Now they will start saying, oh, there's no way I can give you a better price because you know these are the costs and I can give you a uh, TV bundle or a higher internet speed is like, no, I don't want any of that. I just want, you know, the cheapest price. And they would tell you, oh, well, there's nothing I can do. And you know what? When you insist and insist at the very end, and they will transfer you to another person, to another person, the, the final person that you talk to and to which you're saying, you know, I want to disconnect the service. Then they will tell you, oh, you know what? I can give you a, a $10 discount. A $15 discount is like, no, I said, I don't want that. I want the cheapest offer possible. So please disconnect my service and that's it. And then you call back after a couple of hours and you get it back. Uh, excuse me, this is Manhattan. So the sirens, you know, it happens all the time. So yeah, so it worked for the first two times, but let me tell you what happened on my third try. They told me, all right, so, well, now you need uh, a new equipment. And I was like, hold on. I mean, I had my stuff there like some hours ago. Why do I need another equipment? And they told me, well, you know, because there's new standards, so you need uh, to return your devices and get new ones. And I was like, okay. So I, I had to go to the Spectrum store and I gave the two devices that I had. And let me tell you something else here. Now, this is very funny. Like in most of the countries in the world, they understand that if you want internet, you also want Wi-Fi, right? I mean, it's logical. Who uses a cable right now? No one, right? So this is what makes it even more hilarious. So <laughs> they give you two devices. One is the modem, which it's free because it comes with the service. And supposedly you need to use a cable for that and, you know, plug it to your computer. But if you want Wi-Fi, <laughs> yeah, that's the funny part. 
you need to get another device um, and they make you pay um, I think it's five dollars for the rental of it every month I mean as if wanting Wi-Fi was something special right so yeah so uh, that time I had to go to the uh, spectrum store and I had to return my both uh, the, the two devices that I had and they gave me even bigger ones because they're really big you know let me tell you in other countries there's just one little device which is the modem and the Wi-Fi and uh, I'm sorry but I have my you know my modem right now it's there so I can't take it out but I'll show you like uh, normally they're like this big not too big right like this book well here they have like bigger things and they give you on top of that two things so when I had to go that time and I said oh hold on so every time I'm gonna have to do this they're gonna tell me oh you know you're gonna have to change the modem or whatever I started searching on the internet and I found that you can buy your own modem and you don't have to pay any rental for it so uh, and I will put it on the description below believe me I have no commission you can choose whichever uh, device you want but this one was like the cheapest one it was a hundred bucks and it was modem and Wi-Fi all included in one thing in one device like this more or less right and it's mine so now they can't say anything when I do that again which I did last week so yeah so you know I returned all their equipment and I said no I have my own equipment you know and all you need is to look uh, at the back of your modem uh, there there's a number called the Mac address which is a number that you have to give them and then once you give it to them they will uh, connect it to the or they will you know put it in your uh, register or whatever and you start immediately having internet there's another advantage of having uh, your own modem and that's what happened to me and that was another reason why I bought my own modem last time that that happened to me um, I arrived home put everything you know and then I saw that uh, the Wi-Fi had only one network before until two or three years ago just in case you don't know there were two speeds two network speeds the 5 gigahertz one and the 2.4 gigahertz one the slower one and many devices that you use with Alexa for instance that you buy because you read oh you can use this with Alexa right like lights or um, surveillance cameras I have one for your pets or whatever right um, at least the first one that you um, connect them to your phone and to your Alexa app you need to use the slower network well in the new device that they gave me there was only one and it didn't even have speed so you suddenly I couldn't use any of those devices so see when I got the modem that I have now that one has the old uh, sorry the, the the quicker network and the slower network so 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz now the newer things that you buy nowadays they don't even need that but maybe you have older ones that need that and you will be in a big trouble if you want to use them with the new devices that they make you rent from them right so this is what you get to tell you call them and you say you know I want to disconnect the service don't let them fool you no just say disconnect and then you call after a couple of hours and then you get the best discount like in my case let me tell you I did this last week it, I started paying like 75 again so I got um, an offer of, for two years of $45 because I'm not paying the rental otherwise it would be like 50 and on top of that it gave me 500 megabytes instead of 300 like I don't really care I've never really noticed a difference I don't know maybe if you have a lot of people you know using the same Wi-Fi you do notice it in my case I didn't but you know whatever it's better for the same money right and after two years when they raise the price again 
I will do that again. I will call and say hello, you know, disconnect the service. And if they're looking at this video and they think, oh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to tell those people they're not new clients anymore because they were with us some hours ago. You know what? Whatever. You can just change to any other provider. Like I'm being hammered every week with two or three letters of other providers. You can just change. You're not bound to be with one single provider. So, you know, there's nothing they can do. And um, I just think, you know, it's only fair. In this country, really, they charge way too much for the Wi-Fi and internet service, which is right now almost like a basic need, like water or light. It is. So, I mean, many of us telework, right? So we need it. Um, so there you go, yeah. Um, I hope this video has helped you. And if it has, please, write it in the comments below and there you go you know just trust me just set it say it flat out you know i'm tired of what you're charging me i want to disconnect the service then you call again and you say now i want the cheapest offer that you offer to new clients okay well there you go uh yeah i really hope you uh found this video useful and that it helps you okay bye bye